Hi everyone, thanks for joining me this week. Uh, we have Acadia up for review first. She is an 84 foot Lyman Morse built boat um, in 2004. Fantastic boat built to a very, very high spec. So let's take a look. So the first uh, photo here that we see is the, the running shot you can see. Um, she has some tenders and toys up there on the top deck at the back. Um, we'll see some more uh, shots of those later on. So 84 feet, uh, just under 20 foot beam. Um, and the draft, the draft is actually slightly less than that. It's um, about 4 foot 10, 4 foot 11. So fantastic shallow draft for this size of the boat. Built by Lyman Morse Boat company which um, are very well known for their sailboats they do make a few of these uh, sort of trawler style boats uh, but they're more on sort of a special um, delivery uh, rather than sort of building them on spec and, and actually you can see the um, you can see some of the sailboat uh, sort of um, bits and pieces around this as as we look through the through the review so semi-displacement hull, the hull construction says that it's composite, um, that's right, but it's it's actually a scrimp um, type of fiberglass. Now what that is, is uh, a, a different type of um, sort of laying process where it's um, vacuum bagged and then all of the um, fiberglass sheeting is all resin infused. Um, and all of this process, the, the end product that you have is a very, very strong and very, very light um, fiberglass. Uh, so it's actually used by the military for some of their boats up to around sort of the 180 to 200 foot um, size. And, and they're actually looking into it for submarines as well. So it gives you an, an idea of um, how strong and, and uh, durable this stuff actually is. The engines that they have in here is the MTU 2000 series. Um, great engines. They have really good access to these uh, engines as well, which is from the uh, main deck aft. And I think there's a photograph in, in the brochure here that shows that. Um, they actually split up the generators and the engines um, and the battery banks and it's sort of all the um, auxiliary equipment uh, from one another so you have a, a pure engine compartment and then you have a separate room for the for the generator um, and battery room which is great for maintenance uh, very easy to get to and service all this equipment in fact the boat was was built and designed so that all of the equipment even down to the fridges the freezers can all be pulled out and removed from the boat without doing any um, sort of major uh, deconstruction or, or tearing apart of the, the interior of the boat. So it's a, a great, great uh, designed boat um, and they've actually got a, an awful lot of money into the, to the build of this. Um, so with its asking price now, um, you can see there's 3,300,000 US dollars. It's a, a great deal. Um, this is really a, a, a sort of a, um, an attractive boat to me for as far as um, uh, build quality and, and design goes. Um, the fuel, 3,000 gallons, water, 1,200 gallons. Um, compare that to other boats in this size range, you'll see that that is uh, uh, almost 50% more um, on the fuel and probably three times what you'd normally have on the on the water so it's um, built to go off the off the chart um, be self-sufficient for uh, a long period of time in fact you can switch the generators and the engines off while you're at anchor um, and just run the entire boat on the uh, battery banks that they have so um, fantastic boat if you want to just sort of get out there in the quiet amongst the amongst the uh, natural beauty of, of wherever you, you happen to drop the hook. Um, the speed, it was actually designed to, to be faster than, than other boats in its class, so it has a, a great um, a, a great top speed of, of 25 knots. The fuel consumption in this is actually pretty incredible as, as well. 
uh, utilizing the MTU sort of common rail fuel delivery system goes as low as 14 gallons per hour at 10 to 11 knots which is amazing and, and gives you a, a huge uh, a huge sort of distance that you could uh, that you could travel with just the one tank so into the photographs here the uh, bottom photograph there on on the right that's the main salon has a really nice open feel to this or although from that top photograph and, and some of the sort of side profile shots that you see it, it it looks like it would feel tight on the inside it's actually quite the opposite they use this nice um, sort of planking look to the to the ceiling panels which opens it up really nicely the huge windows that you have on the port and starboard side um, also open everything up those windows actually slide open as well which is rare in, in any of the the modi yachts um, to have those windows open all of the these windows all have um, mosquito nets on them as well so you can actually um, weather dependent you can turn the the air conditioning off and just have uh, sort of wind blowing through the through the open uh, through the open windows and doors actually the doors uh, on this boat they all have mosquito uh, netting on them as well so that you can have that uh, have that open so as I said they they've actually gone and, and thought of, of everything here it's worth mentioning also uh, before I move on all of the mahogany that is on board here uh, all comes from South America and was specially cut and, and shipped in the owner didn't like the quality of the wood that that was available in the US um, so he actually went and, and sourced uh, wood that was of a, a standard that would that would uh, work for the boat and and throughout these pictures you can probably pick out um, that they, they use different sort of satin finishes and high gloss trim pieces and, and finish over it it's really a, a, a beautiful boat to to walk around so this is um, gives you an idea of how how open it can feel on the left hand side there those two photographs with the with actually being light outside it would have been nicer if all these photographs were done in the in the daylight but um, so that's the seating area looking aft where you can see the plants on that top left hand photograph there's actually a TV that pops up out of that unit and a flat screen TV and, and it sort of rotates to the left and right depending on where people are where people are sat uh, the bottom photograph on the right there you can see is a, a little nav desk they have it set up with uh, computers and printers and um, sort of can connect to the uh, the boats wireless or uh, LAN connections for for the internet he is looking towards the galley the galley is actually one of the selling points of the boat it has these huge panoramic windows that wrap all the way around the the sort of forward facing um, end of the of the house uh, you can see on the bottom right there that's the the wheelhouse which is also in this same area um, that we're looking at in those those two um, photographs the one on the top right and the other on the on the bottom left that's looking through into that sort of galley wheelhouse area you can see there those huge windows um, it's actually unfortunate that during the uh, boat shows when when this boat is displayed which it is actually in the um, Palm Beach boat show which is coming up at the end of this week so that runs from the 21st to the 24th uh, it's a shame when this boat gets squeezed in between a couple of other boats it really uh, stops that uh, sort of panoramic and, and open sort of feeling of, uh, of what this boat can, can actually give you with it with it being squeezed up in between the other boats but there you can get kind of a, a an idea uh, the nice big wheel there a little bit of a sailboat uh, touch and you can see that with the the wind flutes up up forwards in some of the other photographs as well. So this is the the galley in the top photograph on the on the left hand side here has a, a full size oven, which is nice. You don't often get that in in sort of these boats and some of the boats that are 
uh, slightly smaller than that. They're, they're kind of small size ovens. Um, they have fridges, freezers, ice makers, trash compactors. They have uh, top loading sort of storage areas underneath this this countertop, the granite countertop. And you can see there's another uh, sailboat touch. In fact, in that photograph just forward, you can see one of the stainless uh, flutes that, that deliver fresh air down into um, into the guest cabin as if you wanted to shut the, the air conditioning off, as we spoke about before. Uh, the boat's um, other selling point is a huge full beam master cabin uh, that has uh, an enormous bathroom in it. It actually has a big bathtub in there as well. Uh, well, that's the photograph down on the left at, at the bottom. A uh, beautiful uh, big double bed, uh, nice hand carved uh, sort of valances to all of the air conditioning grills. Um, that's the same throughout the boat. They all have this hand carved uh, sort of valance. All of the uh, chest of drawers there, all the, the drawers have um, sort of lock tight latches on them. Um, all of the the ceiling panels are all put together sort of tongue and groove each panel is one sheet of plywood that has been coated with resin and then painted white um, so that if you did need to pull anything down for maintenance it's one panel that comes down very very easy uh, this is a, a three stateroom boat so it has the forward VIP cabin uh, the twin stateroom which you can see at the top on the on the right hand side and then the master cabin which is down there on the, the bottom left. Moving on to another nice shot of the of the main salon area there. Um, and here's our uh, workroom that, that we mentioned in, in the roundup but the bottom on the right hand side there actually has a room with two huge fridge freezers in there, it has a laundry station and it has this nice big workbench uh, with all the tools, has vices there and they actually have a special um, mattress that will fit that uh, workbench so if you did want to bring a, a crew member along then then this is where they, they would be. Now we actually have um, drawings were made up for this boat to turn that um, workshop room into a, uh, a full-time crew cabin so those drawings are already made up the plans are there they have prices I quoted out to, to do that job um, if that was something that the new owner wanted to do as I said before this boat was built to be an owner operator boat and to not really need a, a full-time crew so that's why the crew cabin isn't uh, isn't there now the top photograph on the right there you can see some more of our sailboat touches with the the teak handrails and the stainless steel flutes that, that catch the, the fresh air. The bottom on the left hand side you can see the small sailboat out the back there so they have this uh, beautiful classic sailboat and they also have um, a rigid inflatable a tender there with uh, I think they have a 40 um, on the back of that so this is our aft deck now underneath the uh, underneath the cover there at the top on the left hand side that's a, a huge grill that they have uh, to the left of that that hatch that's actually a, a private access down into the master cabin uh, that also has fly netting on it so if you are an anchor you can have that open and close the fly nets and have that all open to the aft deck there. Uh, the bottom photograph on, on the left there shows the teak table with the seats around it. That table can actually be pulled out and you can place a fighting chair there. So they do have several uh, rod holders throughout the, the teak capping rail that you can see at the back there as well. Um, so it's a real nice feature to have that um, to be to be used for uh, for fishing purposes. And this boat can can back down as easy, if not better, than than any of the the actual sports fish boats as well. 
the top photograph on the right there you can see the access to our two main engines so as you can see just about as, as good at access as you're ever going to have on, on a boat this size to the to the main engines there uh, so that's on the the aft deck and, and if we sort of closed all those hatches and raised the camera up a little bit you'd be looking at that teak uh, table that, that you can see there on the the lower photograph on, on the left hand side um, and then uh, finally on the bottom photograph on the right you can see a, a picture of her out of the water now that anchor is actually a stern anchor so that's something else that you don't see on, on really any boats um, certainly of this size is to have that stern anchor um, and that of course is used if you're um, at anchor where there's a pretty consistent swell coming in from one direction you can drop that stern anchor and actually keep your nose pointing into the swell which makes things a lot more a lot more stable um, and then some nice uh, some nice running shots there now taking a look at the layout um, up here you can see they have a couple of different shots for the for the lower uh, sort of cabin layout now they haven't for some reason they haven't put the option in here of the crew cabin in place of the in place of the workshop there sort of midships on the on the port side but you can see up forwards they have actually done another option for changing that forward v berth into uh, two separate cabins with either bunks or, or single beds in there so that forward cabin was actually built and designed to be completely symmetrical so you can put a center uh, dividing wall down there and you'd have exactly the same uh, sort of from one side uh, from one side to the other um, for me I, I think it's it's a, a perfectly good cabin as a, as a double um, but it might be something that someone would like to look into to change that workshop into into the the pure uh, crew cabin. So looking into the to the right up, as always, um, I have this brochure that we're flicking through now available in the yacht pack. So if you want to request that and and sort of read through this on your own, then click on the uh, get the yacht pack button and we put some more information in with this brochure um, and we can we can forward that off to you at, at any point so I won't go through each individual line item uh, sort of word for word here you can um, you can do that in your own time it take too long now but pulling out some of the highlights um, from the electronics there uh, has the cell phone booster and the uh, Wi-Fi booster has all the usual sort of radar autopilot um, chart plotters on the um, electronics at the helm station there's a helm down there in the uh, sort of galley area that we saw there's also another helm station although there wasn't too many photographs of it in this um, up on the flybridge there's another sort of repeater station there um, mechanical equipment you see the MTU 2000 series uh, fairly good on hours considering it's 2004 boat um, and what's even nicer to see from an engineering standpoint is that they're both almost identical in hours um, a lot of the times one engine for one reason or another will be used a lot more than the, the other engine sometimes that can point towards there being issues with the engine that they had to um, sort of come limp back home with with one engine but that's not the case here they're both fairly similar hours um, the generators they're both close enough on hours as well and and I know uh, from going through the boat that all of the maintenance has been done to these boats uh, without any expense spared um, all of the services were, were done um, and recorded so it's an, a nice feature here to know that it's been well well taken care of uh, the batteries they can see how many batteries they actually have on here 36 um, in total as I said you can 
shut down all of the engines and run this boat just purely on that uh, battery bank for um, 24 to, to 36 hours before you need to charge them back up again so a real nice feature all very uh, very high grade equipment that's fitted on this you see they have the headhunter sewerage system um, marine air 12 tons uh, worth of, of AC capability which is huge for, for this size boat um, the range is amazing as well and, and in fact it touches on the uh, the fuel consumption there so 2,000 mile range um, burning 14 gallons per hour at 10 knots so that's an incredible range for this uh, for this size boat and in fact it it's, uh, goes into a bit of that in, in the right up underneath there as well Um, the the hull is 100% scrimp glass, that which explains makes it a lot lighter and a lot stronger. Um, as I said in the in the uh, roundup, the military actually uses this technique to to build some of their larger boats up to about 200 feet. Um, it's a a, a resin infused uh, type of production. Um, where they vacuum bag all of the mold and then inject the resin in there so that they have um, sort of limitless control over over the rate of the um, resin coming in and, and the temperatures and, and sort of the um, air that's trapped inside some uh, fiberglass product isn't an issue here because they, they vacuum and, and, and pull all of the, those air pockets out. So... Um, a very very nice um, nice hull to uh, to sort of own and, and operate. You, you have no um, real sort of delamination or, or or deterioration worries with this type of uh, with this type of hull. Um, the galley equipment, the big uh, sub zero fridge freezers. Um, they have, uh, as I said, ice makers, microwave, the the huge full size um, oven. They have uh, trash compactors, st little storage cubby areas everywhere. Um, entertainment. They have uh, sat TV on here, um, flat screen TVs, the, the, all the sort of usual stuff that you would um, expect to see on a on a um, a super yacht or or, or a luxury yacht. Uh, the tenders here that's um, something that makes her stand out as well the 17 foot Zodiac the the rib that's on the aft of the flybridge there and the um, the sailboat so they sit side by side uh, Harishoff sailboat which is a, a classic boat in itself now there's also a 10 foot Zodiac that actually deflates and rolls up and has its own um, out drive as well and, and that stores in one of the dedicated storage areas there as well so um, Acadia fantastic boat um, one of my sort of personal recommendations for someone that's looking in this range um, no expense spared in, in putting her together and um, sort of a, a real uh, a real maintenance free uh, type boat um, there's no sort of surprises that, that you're going to get into into with this boat so a, a, a true quality product um, and uh, and promises not to not to disappoint so um, thanks for joining me the uh, yacht pack as I said is available if you'd like to get this brochure and and some other bits and pieces of uh, of information that we throw in there so just click on that and and leave your email in the and the name of the boat that you're interested in so thanks again and I'll see you next time